Hi Taurus, welcome to your secret message insight. This is Mary here with Leo Sunlight Insights. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. So we're going to pull an energy here. Uh, for the, this is the Barbary Zodiac Oracle. We're going to pull, see what message or what sign we get. See if we get an element, a sign, um, a planet for Taurus. So spirit, please, can we have one card? For the earth sign of Taurus, for what energy? Just one card. What energy? What planet? What fellow sign could the collective be dealing with? One card, please, for Taurus. One card for the sign of Taurus. One card. Okay, well, that one came face up. So. And the other one that came out was Pisces. So if some of you were dealing with a Pisces, this might be significant for you. Otherwise, Pluto wanted to show up, the planet of Pluto. So let me read a little bit about Pluto. Let's see. That is number 22. Pluto is associated with the Roman god Pluto who ruled the underworld. Small Pluto carries a lot of important human experiences, nothing less than life, death, rebirth, and sex. Tied in with these ideas are issues of power and control, as well as finding personal freedom from, con from confining mindsets. mindsets. Okay, so... Personal freedom of confining mind sense. Mindsets. So we'll see if that any of that is relevant. And I was just told to I don't usually do this, but they're telling me to put Pisces up there too. So oh, this could be a significant message for any of you dealing with a Pisces. So I'm going to put that there too. I usually just pull one, but my guides, my spirit guide to tell me to stick Pisces up there so I will so some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a water sign uh, Pisces can be emotional so is there some kind of drama going on with a Pisces somebody trying to control a situation the Pisces or Pisces trying to control a situation of some kind. So this is the Wisdom of the Night Oracle. So we're going to see what kind of message we get for you. It could, I am uh, labeling this a general message, but general reading, but sometimes it turns out to be a love reading. So please keep that in mind. If you're not dealing with the Pisces, that is fine. You don't have to be. This message still be may still be relevant for you. So don't think you can't watch it if you're not dealing with a Pisces. So if you're cross-watching for a Taurus, this may be for you. So Spirit, can we have one card to Taurus' secret message for the Earth sign of Taurus? What are they dealing with? What are they going through? What is this personal power? The energy of Pluto. And we have one card, one message for it's two. I just want one for the sign. Okay, they're telling me to take the top one. And I don't usually do that with clumps, but we have conclusion. So there's something here coming to an end or something has come to an end, a chapter has been closed, a chapter has been written, a new chapter is either beginning or, because you see this page is blank, chapter one, so maybe some of you have finished a cycle and a new cycle is starting, or there is a need to complete something we have the number 12, which 1 and 2 is 3. 
A three is about working together, working with other people, reuniting. So, can mean waiting. Also can be a uh, heartbreak or sorrow. So we'll see. Conclusion. So something's concluding for you. So this is the vice versa tarot. If you would like to know what decks these are, they are in the description box below. Please check there for information on the decks, information about me, my email, personal readings, or you can go to my Etsy page. I have a variety of listings there. My PayPal link is also listed in the description box where you may donate or tip when you watch these readings. It's greatly appreciated as it does take time and energy to do these free readings, but it's something I really enjoy and I really love to do for people. It gives them a lot of insight and clarity, sometimes even confirmation, which I've been getting a lot of that lately. So um, if you wish to tip, any amount is not too small. If you like how I read, please like, share, hit the little thumb there to like it, because that's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube. It's the only way that people who need to see and hear these messages will hear and see them if the videos are liked and then they get circulated. So please do that. You may subscribe. How many do we have here? Three. I'll do four and four. Uh, subscribe once you sub subscribe. Blah. Yeah, okay. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications for when I post a new video and you'll be notified. And I may be picking up energies of past, present, future, something that may have already happened in the past, something going through now, or something that may happen in the future. If you do not resonate at all with this, all my videos are, readings are timeless, so if you're not res resonating with this, you may go through my playlist, find something that does resonate. Um, you can check your rising sign, your moon sign, your Jupiter sign for love, your Venus sign. Cross watch your person sign also. May help in a situation you may be going through. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my clients who have purchased private readings. Okay, so let's get some clarity for Taurus, please. Let me make sure you can see the cards. I'm gonna lay them out. You have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Temperance. Oh, let's see. Okay. You have the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So some of you may in fact be dealing with a Pisces. And uh, that talks about walking, see on this side you're walking away, leaving something that's emotionally unfulfilling. And here, somebody's waiting for you to return, I think. Or you're, you're waiting for somebody's re return. You're wishing and hoping. It's like a shooting star here. Like you're still waiting, you're waiting for their return. You're waiting. I feel like you're waiting for someone to come back. But you have temperance here. And that's Sagittarius energy. And this is about uh, balancing things, tempering things, patience, peace, healing. Um, so maybe while this person is gone, you're working on yourself and you're bringing yourself inner peace and clarity and balance. And tranquility. Wow, I just got that word out of nowhere. Um, like you've reached the peak of the mountain, you've seen the light, you've been enlightened, you've healed yourself, you've brought balance to yourself, you brought peace. 
and patience and tranquility. Like you grew your wings, you spread yourself, you're soaring now. And then you have the, I believe this is the knight. I've only used this deck a few times, so I believe this is the knight of wands. Or is it the page of wands? Might have to look in the deck for that one. I've only used it. This deck is a little different for me, so I'm just going to be honest, tell you that. So, um, let's see. I'm not sure if that's the Knight or the Knave. It looks like the Knight of Wands to me, but I could be wrong. I think that is the Knight of Wands. Or actually, no, I think it's the Knave of Wands. Because I think the Knight would be on, probably on a horse. So, this is a passionate message. An invitation. Wow, I just got that message. An invitation, a pass passionate message, information about a idea, a creative project. Um, something of that nature. either about something, someone, uh, a new endeavor of some kind. And then you have the world here. So I feel like you've definitely, and this is about cycles, and we had just said here while Spirit confirming with the conclusion message card here from the Oracle about ending a whole chapter, a whole book. Like a whole book has been written and it's like the end. The end of that book, of that chapter, of that cycle. And here we have the world, which is about cycles. Um, beginning and ending of cycles. It's growth, expansion, evolution, um, travel. Maybe, maybe somebody, you're going to go on a trip with somebody. I don't know, on vacation. Something you've wanted to do for a long time. Maybe you're going to go to a country you've never been to before. Maybe you're going to travel the world. Maybe you're going to go overseas and toy Europe. I don't know. <laughs> These are just random messages on, that I'm getting here. Um, I don't know. Let's see what else we have here. So definitely, and it's right under this conclusion card. Wow. Wow. Maybe you're going to go on a trip with a Pisces. Maybe your best friend is a Pisces. I don't know. Then you have the Three of Pentacles. So definitely making plans, making decisions, working on things, on what you're going to do, planning. Then you have the Hanged Man here, which is either uh, Pisces or cancer energy, so definitely here we are with the Pisces again. This is kind of being stuck in limbo, not making any movement, just going with the flow. Um, maybe deep down you knew this person wasn't going to return. You've healed yourself, you started a new chapter, a new book, you're writing a new book, a new lease on life. You're doing things and making choices and steps and doing things you've never done before. And it's a whole new world, whole, whole new cycle, making those plans and go, just going with the flow, just going with it. And here you have the Six of Swords, which talks about traveling out of something that is um, conflicted, is not in a good energy. And here's the water energy again, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces in here. Wow, I had just said traveling and going on a trip and now we have a boat in the water. Maybe you're going on a cruise and it's something you never did before. Because here we have you balancing things out, dipping your toes in the water. Wow. And here's your energy here with the pentacles, which is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Right here with the Pisces energy. 
and then here we have the world and cycles travel and here we have you in a boat traveling traveling off to something uh something that's calmer safer calmer waters more peaceful waters And then we have the Nine of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this talks about stress, anxiety, being up all night, not being, being able to sleep, being in your mind, uh, being stressed out. Um, but I feel like you're looking at those swords like, I don't know, here's the back end. And here, you know, you, person starting to see the light somebody comes in the person sees the light and is ready to you know take action but here maybe you still feel a little maybe you're nervous about traveling in a boat because it's something you never did before do you have um do you get seasick or something or maybe you would just have a fear of boats and traveling. I don't know. These are weird. This is a weird message. I don't know if this is going to resonate with anyone, but if it's not about traveling or going out, doing something like that you've never done before, I feel like you definitely waited for someone to return in the process. You healed yourself and maybe they didn't return because, you know, I think you wished and hoped, but you know, it's a very young person here, so and now you're older, so maybe this person you just realized was never going to come back. So now you're taking the steps you need to take in life just to move on, move on with your life, do things you've never done before, a whole new world, whole new chapter, working on things, working on projects, um, living your life, moving on with things, just going with the flow, being you know laid back. You know, maybe you are traveling or just going out and about doing all the things that um, you always wanted to do. And maybe I'm getting now you couldn't with, with this person or whatever situation you were in before. Maybe they kept you kind of trapped and you couldn't really do the things you wanted to do that you loved. And you just felt like maybe nervous and stressed out being with this person or whatever situation you were in. Because here we definitely have the Seven of Swords energy. And I feel like that's just you. That's air energy again. And this talks about Seven of Swords like deceptiveness, lies, maybe um, things like that. Or sneaky sneakiness. But I feel like that's you just finally walking away from that situation again. Maybe you had to sneak away in some way. Or just leave the situation without them knowing it just kind of like escaped or just got away and kind of sneaked away yep and here we have underneath the chariot cancer energy of taking that action and moving forward and the chariot is about movement travel action you know going after what you want to go after with the success and glory balancing out yin and yang and here we have balance again twice Definitely two cards here of moving away, three actually, of moving away and out of a situation towards something that is more s stable and safe, secure, peaceful. And then here we have the Knight of Swords again. So this is about... I think you had you like rushed away in a hurry because this he's like leaving and in this way he's like coming in but in this way he's like leaving moving away again with that energy like it was a rush like you just had to hurry up and leave when you had the chance you just did it and you just didn't think about it I said when I get my chance I'm just going I'm leaving I don't care goodbye sayonara here I go my sword of truth cutting the things out that no longer serve me And just in a mad dash, in a mad hurry, and off you went. 
Maybe this was you waiting for your chance to walk away here. Maybe you weren't, weren't waiting for them to come back. Maybe that was you waiting and wishing and hoping to have that chance where you could just rush out and leave. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. So this is the back end of the Three of Cups. And in the front, it talks about reuniting, celebrating, uh, coming together, rejoicing, parties, weddings, all kind of things like that, where people come together to rejoice and celebrate. But here, it's, I feel like Like maybe you, you you weren't able to go out. Maybe you couldn't go out with your friends before. You couldn't do the things you wanted to. It's like you longed for it. You just wanted to get out and have fun. Be with your friends. I don't want to say party because that's not the energy. I'm just feeling the energy of you didn't really maybe have the social life you wanted. And maybe you were wishing and hoping and praying for it. Because here we have, wow... Now that I see this two energies of wishing and hoping for something. So I feel like you finally ended that chapter and you just stormed out when you had the chance and you left it all behind and said, goodbye, the end. It could have been the end with a Pisces. Or maybe if this is you, you know, maybe your best friend is a Pisces, gave you support. And now you're doing all these things that you wanted to do with your best friend who was a Pisces. And what did we say about Pluto here? About um, short-term memory. Let's see. Rebirth. This is kind of like a rebirth in your life. Power and control. Finding personal freedom from confining mindset sets or confining situation. Wow. Wow. See how that all ties in? Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Vision. Aphrodite. So this is almost, I don't know, I think I'm going to read just a little bit. How are we doing for time? 22 minutes. Okay, number eight. I'm just going to read a little bit from there. And then that'll be it. When you choose the, uh, this symbol, it means that no matter what you lose in your life, something better will replace it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, even if a loss feels devastating at the moment, you still have so much to gain. If your question is about the future, choose another card. The magical vision that you will receive here gives you the temporary power to see the future as a vast place full of possibility and potential. Your next card will provide insight into the conditions ahead of you. To know the future is to be prepared. Okay, so I guess we're going to pick another card. Well, this is fun. This is like a, almost like a game. Pick another card. Okay, so let's put this here. Move this over a little bit. So what vision, what is the vision then? What is the vision? The next card will be your vision. Actually, I think I'm just gonna shuffle a few more times and then we'll look at the bottom of the deck and we'll take that energy wow okay we're gonna stop here playful wow <laughs> 44 wow playful yep you're definitely playful you're getting to do now the things you've always wanted to do you feel so young energetic and playful inside uh again if this message resonates with anyone please let me know please comment 
um, yeah, you broke free from something and now you're balanced, you're healed, you're doing things you never did before, just going with the flow and you're having fun, you're being playful, you're living your life, you're doing things you never did before that you weren't able to do, whatever your circumstance was. It's like you've been enlightened, you've wished and you hoped, and now all your wishes are coming true in your life. Okay, Taurus, that was your February 2019 general reading. I hope it resonated with you. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. I hope to see you next time. And... Best of luck to you, many light, love, and blessings, and don't forget to shine your light.